the NFL with 11 touchbacks coming into this game. Tyquan Underwood, the return man. He's going to take it out of the end zone for Jacksonville. Underwood. Dragged out. He lost the football at the end of the play. It was already whistled dead. Pat Angerer with a play on special teams. Tonight on 60 Minutes, Bill and Melinda Gates are the richest couple in the world. And they're giving their fortune away. Find out where the money is going. Tonight on 60 Minutes, only CBS. Josh Scobie. Career long of 53 yards. 2009 was a rough season for him. 18 of 28. He is 4 of 4 this season. First down for Jacksonville at the 23-yard line. They only have one timeout to work with. 42 seconds remaining. Running play. Maurice Jones-Drew through a hole across the 30-yard line. And they give him a gain of 8. Timeout. Gain of 8 yards. 35 seconds left. Indianapolis has used a timeout. Indianapolis. Boy, that call on first down really puzzling. I mean, it, it sends such a negative message to your offense that you're not going for it. You're running, running a draw play. You're, how many yards are you going to get out of a draw play? Not nearly enough with such little time left on the clock. Then on the flip side, Indianapolis uses the timeout. Colts have one remaining. Jaguars have one remaining. We've got 36 seconds left. Well, they, Jim Caldwell saying, well, they're not going to use the timeout. We will. We might get the ball back after that conservative call on first down. Discrepancy scoreboard here. And our official numbers, two timeouts remaining. And a second and two for Jacksonville now. Shotgun formation for Gerard. Tied at 28. Gerard throwing. He had his man open. Underwood, it's incomplete. Third and two for the Jaguars. 33 seconds left. And Jim Caldwell thinking they've got a chance to get the football and win this thing in regulation. Well, if this ball is on target, Underwood has a chance to get a couple yards, obviously get the first down, but more importantly, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Gerard's worst pass of the day. Gerard now 15 of 19, 135 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Third and two. Huge play here for Jacksonville. Gerard throwing. High throw. It's handled by Underwood and a first down. Remains inbounds. 25 seconds. The clock ticking here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they got to use a timeout here. Gerard throwing sideline. It's Underwood again. And there's the gainer that they needed into Indianapolis territory with 11 seconds remaining. That's a 22-yard hookup. Left foot down, right foot down. Good catch by Underwood. Now Scobie would be looking at a 59 to 60-yard field goal try. Del Rio told us yesterday that he would let him go from 65. This play is being reviewed. I'm not sure why, uh, but because it was clear that Underwood had his left foot down when he caught the ball and then his right foot well in bounds. Second year throw, throw from by. Rutgers, Tyquan Underwood, and yes, Garrard put it where it had to be. Got possession, secure, both feet in. Huge play for the Jaguars. Now to me that looks like it's textbook. Into the body, one foot. Two feet. First down. And getting out of bounds stops the clock. So the Jag Jaguars now, they can use the entire field with 11 seconds to go. They can throw this ball to any part of the field, get a completion, call timeout immediately, and let Scobie do his thing. Booth review to make sure that was a clean catch. Ron Winter. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a catch inbound. One out of bounds. First down. They're at the 41 yard line of Indianapolis. There is nothing Peyton Manning can do about it now. And if there's any wind at all, it would be at Scobie's back. 11 seconds remaining. 
Jacksonville still has a timeout. Garrard trying to avoid a big mistake, and he will throw it up for grabs, nearly intercepted. Kelvin Hayden. Near disaster for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Colts come with an all-out blitz. That forces Garrard to fade in the pocket. And we've seen defensive backs now. First, it was David Jones, and this is Kelvin Haywood. Do either of these defenses know how to catch the ball? There was the pressure on Garrard. He's looking. He knew that was a dangerous throw. 59-yard attempt. Indianapolis does have a timeout to work with here if they want to ice Josh Scobie. There it is, too. Caldwell called timeout before the ball was snapped. So the timeout taken by Indianapolis. Timeout. Indianapolis. Timeout Colts. For those of you expecting to see 60 minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS. The game between the Colts and the Jaguars. Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, the rest of our CBS crew. Indianapolis and Jacksonville tied at 28. 60 minutes will be seen immediately after the game, except on the West Coast, where it will be seen at its regularly scheduled time. Josh Scobie with one of the strongest legs in the NFL. The determination on his face and the hope in the face of David Garrard. He has never made this one from this distance, though. Career long of 53. 59-yard attempt. Podlesh will hold it. Jeremy Kane, the snapper. Jacksonville looking for the win. Scobie sweeps the leg. 59 yards away. He's got it. Jacksonville wins. 31 to 28. Scobie the hero. A 59-yard field goal. And the Jaguars knock off the Colts. Scobie with the kick and then the victory lap. What a finish. Jacksonville 31. Indianapolis 28. Perfect snap, perfect hold, and everybody holding their breath until now. The Jacksonville Jaguars. So many questions swirling around this city this week. What a bounce back for this team. Oh, and the chair of Jack Del Rio just cooled off, as did David Garrard's. Peyton Manning and the Colts. They play tight ones against Jacksonville. Normally, Indianapolis has come out on the winner's side. This time, it's the Jaguars. A last-second kick at the gun. Scobie, 59 yards away. Final score, Jacksonville 31, Indianapolis 28. Tonight on CBS, 60 minutes, the amazing race, and undercover boss. For Dan Fouts, the rest of our crew, this is Ian Eagle. So long from Jacksonville. This is the NFL on CBS.